you. So you, you ran against Barack Obama for senator in Illinois. You famously said that Jesus Christ would not vote for Obama because of his stance on abortion. Other than you, is there any candidate Jesus Christ would vote for among the Republican hopefuls? Well, first I have to address that, though, because that's not exactly what I said, Alan. I, I actually wasn't talking about abortion. Yes, we have differences on abortion that are deep and profound. I think they're terribly important. But Barack Obama defended infanticide, the killing of fully born infants who had survived a failed abortion attempt and were then left for hours in soiled linen baskets to die. Jill Stanek and others blew the whistle on this. There was a bipartisan majority, just as there was in the Senate of the United States to stop it. And you know something? When the Born Alive Infant Protection Act was passed uh, by unanimous consent out of the Senate, Hillary Clinton was part of that Senate. Barack Obama defended infanticide, refused to let that bill out of his little subcommittee in the Illinois legislature. As I understand it, it didn't get out until he left. That's deep-dyed, cold-blooded, ruthless ideology applied to such a degree that it bespeaks a hardness of heart for the sake of the defense of the so-called right to abortion that, that even his pro-abortion counterparts nationally can't understand. And when you uh, stand in on a rung below Hillary Clinton in terms of your moral sensitivity, I have problems Well, that's with. your opinion, sir. But what you actually <laughs> said, your exact words were uh, that uh, Christ would not vote for Barack Obama because right. Barack Obama has voted to behave in a way that is inconceivable for Christ to have behaved. Are there other candidates right. on your side of the fence, on the Republican side, who you put in that category? Well, let me put it this way. I can't conceive of Christ voting for somebody who's going to disregard the claims of innocent human life. I can't see him supporting, for instance, some terrorist who flew into the 9-11 building and claimed innocent lives for the sake of his ruthless agenda. Because the, the basic principle that you don't have the right for the sake of your own convenience, agenda, whatever it might be, to take innocent human lives is what's at stake in the war on terror, which is why I don't see how we can believe that people who are deeply committed to abortion, who will violate that principle where the, the child in the womb, our posterity in the womb is concerned, are then going to be able to lead us consistently in a battle over that very moral principle of respect for innocent life. So I think that there's a problem there, yes. Hey, Ambassador, let me, let me ask you this. You got into this uh, race.